Hi, Benton Cotter here, helping making your rental investment successful. Today we're going to talk about how to set your rental price for your investment. Now there's a couple strategy things we're going to talk about here. You kind of have to identify what you're looking for. Um, if you're looking for maximum um, cash flow, maximum rent, uh, your house is going to sit longer. There's a strategy. There's going to be some different play and factors in that. Um, if you really want to get it rented quickly to minimize the vacancy, there's factors in that, usually low price, but there's some other factors in that. But generally we're going to talk about all the best tips and techniques that we use. Um, we have rented over 10,000 homes. Um, we've learned some things with all the catalog. Uh, we gathered all that data from that 10,000 homes and we figured out a formula that we think that works really well, um, even whatever strategy you're looking for. Um, first tip is always uh, look at your competition. Uh, you got to do comps, see what's out there, see what's out there in the active listings. That means the ones that are actually still, you know, out there marketing and look at the ones that have closed before. Um, a lot of times you don't have access to the closed ones um, if you don't belong to an MLS or multiple listing services as a realtor. Uh, but maybe you can you know, talk to us, talk to someone that you know, um, see if they can pull some comps for you. Um, it might be worth it just to say, hey, I'll throw you 100 bucks, realtor, if you pull comps for me and help me suggest a rental price. Um, just you want to see what ones have rented recently in the last 30, 60 days in your area and see what they rented for and how much they're getting per square foot and the amenities they, they had and such. So you want to be able to compare those. Um, you get those old listings, that's good to kind of uh, set the foundation. Then look at your active listings and key with that is look what they're doing, look what they're renting for, uh, price is similar, uh, but all times you can actually evaluate theirs. Uh, what we like to do is look at those listings, especially try to pick three that are very similar to yours, size, um, amenities, even if you're trying to get around your built, your built um, in the same area, um, don't want to be, go too far, maybe hopefully within the mile radius. Try to find those active listings and then see what they got. If it's priced at $2,000 and you think you can get, you know, more out of yours, look what they have. Do they have not as many amenities do you have? Um, are they not as close to a community amenity that you have? Maybe a community pool or something like that. Um, so do some analysis on that. And the best thing to do, we love Zillow because you can go look on it, look at that active listing. And if you scroll down and you click on more details and more facts about the property, you can actually see how long it's been listed on Zillow. That's one factor. Um, if it's more than 30 days, that's a factor usually. That means hey, if you want your home to rent faster, you want your home to rent in 21 days, there's something going on there. So look how long it's been on active listing. Um, they can also have a feature that shows how many people have viewed it and how many people have saved it as one of their favorites to look back at. That's a great barometer to see what kind of action it's getting. If it has tons of views and tons of saves, and but it's been on the market for 60 days, that tells you something. Usually that tells you it's priced right for the square footage and the amenities it's offering, um, but there's just something wrong with the home. Maybe it's really bad, ugly carpet, or the kitchen's outdated compared to the rest of uh, the comps in the area. Uh, but that usually means indication that, hey, it's priced right, the photo on the front looks good, everything looks good on the surface, but when they dig deeper, um, something's not right. Um, so you can kind of use that data. Say, hey, if your home's similar, but maybe it's in better shape, doesn't have any issues like that, that means probably the price is right. It might even go a little bit higher in the price, um, but you have better quality of a home. Um, yours will work pretty good. So you kind of look at that. Um, kind of compare those things. Another good thing is if, hey, if you run some comps, you find your three people that three houses that look very similar to yours um, in the price point, um, undercut them. If they're rent for 2000 put yours at 1960, 1969, whatever it is, 1999 I don't care what it is, just undercut them. Price makes a huge difference when they're looking. Um, also, remember the filters on Zillow. Um, if you look at the top, there's filters that the renters go through. Go through an experience like your renter and try to find your house. Um, sometimes they filter out. Sometimes they're very whole number looking on price. So they might filter out from $1,500 to $2,000. So don't put your house at $2,001 because then you miss that $2,000 filter range even though it's right there. So be very clever with how you price the home. Um, like do the, if it's $1,500, do the, you know, Put it at 1,499, that way you get the searches below that. That might be the top end of their, their graph. Don't do it right above. Don't do 1,510, 20 or 30. Um, those typically take longer to hide if you put the, the bottom portion of the hundreds. Uh, remember, be clever with how you uh, market your price because you have to remember what the tenant experience is going through and what they're looking for, what they're filtering out. Same thing if your home has three bedrooms but it's 5,000 square feet. Probably not gonna get a lot of people because they're looking that big of a range they're looking well I exaggerate it but if you're looking for a house maybe it's 2,500 square feet they're probably looking for a four bedroom um, so if you have three bedroom plus two dens it might be worth it to convert one of those dens to a bedroom and just add a closet 
you know, you know a few hundred dollar repair to make it rent faster. The goal is you want to rent at a good price, but you don't want it to sit vacant for two months. Uh, two months of vacancy or even one month of vacancy, that's a mortgage payment. Say your mortgage is $1,500. If you were to just get discount on the rent for $50, that $50 only will cost you $600 in a year rather than your vacancy of $1,500 in one month. So you kind of have to play both both sides there, making sure you know your strategy um, to make sure you maximize the, the most you can get for your rental price without diminishing the days on market. Um, so a good thing is also to look at is really kind of, I hate to say it, but be truthful with yourself. Sometimes when we move out of our homes, and especially if it's our home that we moved out that we used to live in, uh, we think the world of it, and we think it's worth so much more than what we, and really it is. So you gotta be truthful with yourself. Um, if, is this a $2,000 home or is this a $1,500 rental? Be truthful, that's the most important. Um, just be real, understand, hey, try and take the emotion out of it. Um, if you also need to do some repairs, like you gotta do the repairs, make it rent ready. Um, or otherwise, it doesn't matter what you price the rental at. Uh, if tons of people come looking at it, but they walk away. Usually means you need, you need to fix something with your home. Um, and then so another strategy that we like to do is, you know, make sure you, the rental price is very important. Um, on the, you know, make sure you're in the low, don't stay in the low 100s, you know, stay mid 100s or exactly like the 100s, you know, around that mark. Uh, but also what I'd like to do is, hey, if I know, um, let's say I have another three, my three other comps in the area, or they're all 2,000, but my home's just a little bit more run down, or it's missing the amenity that they have. Uh, we like to give them incentive. Um, usually, like, hey, we'll give you two weeks free if you if you move into our home. For some reason, that incentive it's like a I don't know, like a sell. It triggers something in our mind, um, and so we'll be able to rent our home, even though it wasn't as good as the other three in the neighborhood, um, just because we gave that incentive. And for some reason, everybody loves a sell. Um, but just do that work on those techniques again it's an art to price in your home um, we have a huge database again we rented over 10,000 homes we also have a huge database of home union that we can search and pull this all this data that can help us determine how to uh, price your home right to get the maximum uh, return on it but also make sure we diminish the vacancy on it so reach out to us and contact us and we can definitely help you with that we again we, we're experts in the field this is all we do all the time um, we love to do it for your home